Ram Ram people a big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there welcome to my channel all of the light workers twin flames star seeds and star seed twin flames people who are on the ascension serious ascension work i'm talking about and i personally feel that you guys could also be a part of the 144000 spirit warriors spiritual warriors who are incarnated on earth right now to push the frequency and the vibration of earth to a higher dimension all of you welcome all to this collective reading first of all i want you guys to mark yourself present with your location but there's one more thing that you all need to put down in the comment section and that is what are the areas in your life you feel very strongly that you need to heal like what is it what maybe if not the areas then the traumas that you need to heal from this is going to give you great help now coming back to the divine intervention i'm being told some of the qualities that you possess which has probably triggered the people with negative energy or demonic energy and this doesn't mean that you don't have any flaws of course you have that's why you're working on it but what they see in you they see in you something that irks them that annoys them because as i said in the part 1 also that you are a go getter and you have presence of positive energies around you you have presence of guides you have presence of angels around you you have presence of deities around you that support you that protect you and for some of you who are souls who have lived many lives on earth you probably have good karma also along with you and for those who have come from some other galaxies and reincarnated on earth specifically for the raising of the frequency of this planet as a volunteer you obviously come from a very high frequency place so that high frequency almost acts in a way that you're also very innocent and naive it's like uh, that's why you connect so much with animals like animals don't lie animals cannot lie whatever they are they just cannot lie they cannot pretend right they believe in people that's it they believe in humans they believe in good energy a big elephant is so powerful so powerful a bunch of 15 20 elephants can be so powerful but when the poachers attack them they die a very brutal death such a powerful being you know how these human beings are able to tame these animals because they have materialistic vested interest and what they try to tame is the innocence of the animal they know that the animal is innocent they know the animals cannot pretend so they use it they very tactfully groom them use it first they start to you know be nice to them they feed them they give them food they make habit patterns and then slowly and gradually it's about caging them it's about uh, you know giving them lot of work you know making these poor horses and these are just examples by the way i'm talking about those animals who are used uh, for labor work if you actually go on to the road and you see a horse tied to a cart it's usually a very big cart how much is the horse's weight but the cart he has to carry has human beings has the whole cart has a lot of stuff in it like uh, hundreds of kgs they have to pull they have to pull they have to run through it now some of these animals love to run so i'm not going to say that they don't enjoy running or they don't enjoy uh, being uh, someone's uh, vehicle like in back in those days kings and queens and ministers and even today some very rich people who can uh, afford horses i won't say very rich people but yeah some people can afford horses they can manage them their horses love to take them on the rides so it's a bonding thing you know between a man and a horse 
uh, the horse choose, chooses its master and the man also obviously loves the horse back and takes care of them. But there is an innocence in that. What I'm talking about, there's no innocence. Like how these people make leather out of animal skin, out of cow skin. Now cow is such a gentle animal, right? So these demons, they don't just abuse animals. They abuse children. They abuse anybody who has very pure, innocent energy. That probably includes people like you. You have also been uh tormented or terrified and you've been in those those spaces uh where you were groomed or you p- probably were confused uh and they taught you to believe in things that were not true the programming but there was a time when you were naive there was a time when you had blind faith in people's words like if someone would say something to you you would actually believe it because you had no doubt in you had no thoughts in your mind that if someone is saying something they can they cannot feel it uh, if you make commitments to people you fulfill it if you say something to people you mean it but these people who are either possessed by demonic energy or they are obsessed by some kind of negativity uh, or they are obsessed by some kind of negativity they are infected these people say a lot of things and they change it they never stick to one thing they never stick to the things they say especially things that make you trust them make you want to believe them and trust them and uh, do something good in life they just say it to win your trust and you don't know that you never knew that you always felt like whether it's a relationship uh, i think for some of you people this is going to make you remember a lot of things or go into places visit into into places where people just said things to you like friends or maybe those you were in relationship with or some elderly person they said those things to you because they knew that if they're going to say it to you you are so naive that you're going to believe them and like them and then they can manipulate you and your energy in different ways but now they're mad at you now they're pissed off with you now they are uh, upset with you because they're not able to play around with you they're not able to manipulate your energy they are not able to do the drama they are not able to do the real life acting they do in front of you because you know it now you know the mask that they wear the great human being they pretend to be or the person they pretend to be who doesn't want anything in life oh i don't want this desire oh i don't don't want that desire so basically uh there was this one man i know about he would always tell me like he's obviously like a father figure so he's elder to me he would always tell me oh child i don't have this desire oh i'm not into this or i'm not into that and you know i just want to live a peaceful life i just want to serve god i don't want any recognition i don't want this chair or that position blah 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 he would say it in such a convincing manner like like you would you would respect him a lot you would be like wow he is so selfless but it's all bullshit because uh, he keeps going back to those things so i'm just thinking i always think that when a person says it with a point blank face expression like with a smile on their face or with the uh, such great acting i mean what is oscars for them or what is a movie star for them for some of the people movie stars are nothing in front of them now i'm not glorifying movie stars because they do they do a, a whole lot of crappy things and some of them of course not all of them uh i would say majority you would say without uh without a doubt majority of them just just want people to worship them worship them like gods uh think actually think that they are real life heroes or heroines as they say this word i don't know how this word hero came from or heroine came from it should just be actor and actresses you know when they do their acting job it 
sounds okay but when they start calling themselves hero then you actually feel like why are they calling themselves hero for what uh, i also want you guys to check out the hero's journey that's like um, you can write it down the hero's journey how in life you can embody this hero's journey or hero's energy so going back to the first part where i spoke about uh, the divine message that i got by shridi sai baba is he showed me the pandemic and the lockdown and of course uh, much before that i was doing things with animals but it was during the lockdown or during the pandemic when the the number of animals that i was feeding increased to a huge number and when when i started doing that i mean i realized that he had actually predicted it much before much before and uh, it it did turn out like that but the most interesting part is that it was actually connected to many other things if today i am doing these collective readings it's because of them the whole collective should actually be uh, very grateful to the to the street animals to these very human humane animals animals who live to be around human beings like i have uh, i have a uh, lot of respect for all animals animals in the jungles are suffering because of poachers animals in the cities are suffering because of the bad treatment they get animals are suffering at the butcheries animals are suffering because of fashion because of uh, clothes and bags and shoes and what not and i can talk a lot about it but there's a reason why all of this is happening and that is to create a very low frequency energy of trauma of pain of uh, materialism i mean think about it uh, when people buy expensive uh, uh, leather items like for example this chair okay when i bought this chair uh, i had to do a lot of research about it and this is actually not a leather chair this is a uh, fake leather it looks like leather but it's not but i had to do a huge amount of research and the guy i bought this chair from uh, it was actually my sister's chair but she gave it to me uh, but i had to make phone calls because as soon as it came into my house i i was very curious i was like i cannot use this chair until unless i'm 100% sure um i'm giving my example because how i actually found out and if you resonate with it then please i request you to share your story in the comment section if i like somebody's story i'm going to share it on my new youtube channel that i've made only for animals dedicated to animals it's called animal mother vlogs you can go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you love animals or if you like to do volunteering for animals or you know in any Uh, in any way you want to contribute to the animal kingdom please go ahead and be a part of that channel i am actually making that channel uh, to create a community of very high vibrational people i don't want to put out negative content over there i just want to put real content over there because uh, i am involved in some rescues and we feed a huge number of animals so uh, it's going to be great if more and more people join it and it's really very new channel okay so i was like uh, somebody had gifted me a diary and i have to share this example today how people just don't realize okay and you have to please look around in your surroundings if you still haven't thought about it just look around in your surroundings you have some people like that you can never be friends with them forget about getting into a relation just stay away from any sexual exchange with such people because they have blood on their hands and you got to save yourself from all of that energy so i knew this person he was a high hello friend and uh, you know guys like to impress girls i think so he was probably doing that as well uh he was not a great looking guy or or you know something i know looks also play a uh, kind of a role but uh, for me it's something else about people that i like so i think he was obviously thinking in his own head so he would always impress me with i do this and i do that and i have a shop here and i have a store over there and this is my business and i can blah 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 but i was always very busy feeding animals at that point in time and this is before the pandemic this is before all of that happened 
so he would uh, help me to feed the animals and i realized that whenever he started coming around the animals would fall sick they would fall really sick and i just did not understand why i had no idea it's happening because of him or whatever i mean we when we love animals anything small happens to them even if it's a cold or a cough it's uh, uh you have to be like careful like there's a cute little mouse literally dancing on my table i wish i could show you his video uh he is looking at me on my chocolate box he's just dancing around there there are two mouse two mice actually i don't know if they're siblings or what uh, i'm going to share these videos on the animal mother vlog channel but if you i want you to believe it okay here are some clips actually this happens they are very smart he's looking at me right now like literally looking at me with his cute little black eyes and he's actually making a hand gesture like this this is unbelievable i have another phone let me see if i can record this while i'm talking to you guys uh so basically he would come around that guy and he would try to feed those animals and my animal babies uh were not liking it i think they were falling sick okay fine he went there uh and uh, i just wanted to like th- figure it out but i could not so one fine day he just gifted me something and he said that hey i want to gift you something i said what is it he's like uh, it's a diary and blah 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 and i don't like to take gifts from guys so i said okay uh, i really don't want it thank you so much but he was like no 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 you have to keep it and i'm going to keep it uh, in some place i said okay fine whatever when i got it home it was like very negative energy and i'm into energy work since a long time so i could just feel that the energy is not nice but even till that time i had no idea and he had my initials written on it and i was like why would he write down my name on it uh anyway so when i was looking at it i realized that it was actually a leather diary which is why it was making me so negative then there was this one big it really sweater like jacket that a friend of mine had given to me because it was really cold and i was traveling and she said that you keep this jacket with you cuz where where she lived it was very hot but every time i wore that jacket i used to get a bad headache at first i thought i'm getting this headache because it's too warm but later on when i checked it out it was actually made from real animal fur i don't know how many animals were killed for it and uh, i realized that i'd started getting headaches or uncomfortable feeling so in my house also uh, i have to really check and question if there's anything which is made from trauma uh, of animals now i live with some animals and some of them eat non vegetarian food also so how does that work out uh, first of all i don't buy any of those items it's basically biscuits and this and that but then i realize that some of these animals and birds also are omnivorous by nature we humans are not we are meant to live on vegetarian meals uh but they are not like that so i cannot really change them like these two mouse mice baby they're dancing around right now because my puppy still hasn't figured out a way to reach to them these ones are really smart last time and i think they're smart because they don't have a mother maybe the mother died or i don't know what happened to her but last time when there was uh, some mice in my house little mice my little puppy actually killed them he killed them he just killed four or five of them and i was like traumatized for a bit because i was feeding the mice biscuits piece of biscuits i like to feed mice also but when he was killing them all i was like wow like this is crazy and then i had to pick all of those mice and keep them outside in the park where the cat comes and eats them this is still acceptable because this is nature's nature's way of doing thing but what humans do is really creepy like hell like they will kill 
uh, they'll not even kill. If you actually study how leather is made, it's insane. Uh, they actually skin a living animal. Like the cows are skinned alive. And when I got to know about this, I, I talked to that friend of mine because he was actually doing a leather business, which is how, why he gave me that leather diary, uh, leather gift. So I just walked up to him because he was feeding animals and he was pretending to be an animal lover. So I said, hey, you know what? I need to talk to you. And he was like, yeah, tell me what what's up. I said, you make leather. He's like, yeah. I said, do you even know how it's made? He's like, of course, why won't I know? So I was like, do you know the cows are skinned alive for leather? With a poker face, he said, yeah, how else are you supposed to get good quality leather? I mean, to get the best quality, this is the process we need to use. We, we need to use, we need to skin them alive. And that's it. I've never spoken to him again. I don't even know where he's gone after that. I have no idea. I have no clue. I don't even remember his name anymore. So, the thing is that we can accept what animals do. Like, what do they do in their kingdom, in their world? Like, if the bird is eating an ins insect, it's okay. We know it's nature. But if we humans, like in Thailand or other places, I've heard, I've seen people fry these insects and they eat them up. It doesn't make any sense. But it's happening all because of programming and it's because of materialistic, deep, hardcore materialistic programming that makes people forget that they are human beings and they need to or they should live like human beings. So education system, a lot of these demons are planted in the education system and they slap kids, they beat the kids up, they do nothing for the kids, they don't teach the kids, they don't care about the kids, they are there only for the salary and only for the money. It's just a goddamn job for them, okay, they don't feel any emotions they have no empathy for the children they don't some of these teachers are abusers brutal abusers but they blend in really well because they have the mask on you know they have the mask on and actually teachers are also a type of healer big time but look at the business they've made out of it look at the commercial business they've made out of it now What's your role in all of this? Let me tell you, you can see through a lot of things. Some of you are not having children. Some of you are not getting married. You're doing it subconsciously. You think that, oh, it's happening because of separation and this and that. You can get an, any other guy or girl. Why are you stuck at that one person? Because that's like your comfort level. That's like you feel like, okay, good or bad, it's all right the way it is. I don't want to get into anything else, blah, blah, blah. Because you understand that you get into anything, marriage or children or relationship, it's a, it's a deep dark place where if you get into it once, it's very hard to get out of. And now that you're doing inner work, or now that you're doing swadhyay, now that you're living in your reality, whatever reality it is, some days are tough, some days are easy, some days are enlightening, some days are not. Some days you are acting out of your programming. Some of the students I have, not all of them, but uh, some of them, uh, the difficult ones, I would say, who don't want to do inner work or who keep running away from inner work, you can see when they're possessed. They are not speaking their own words. They're not speaking their own language. It's coming from somewhere else. They're so deeply and heavily programmed. And when they see somebody who is trying to take them out from the programming, actually, they themselves want to get out of the programming. That's why they get enrolled into training. That's why they enroll into therapy. But then they themselves are like, no, 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 I don't want to do this right now. 
or uh, I'm going to do it tomorrow, I'm going to do it after 10 days, I'm going to do it after a few months or I'm going to come back again or they just uh, pick up certain issues and uh, specifically few people who are heavily programmed. I have seen it in them and that is also narcissism. Narcissism comes in many shapes, sizes and forms. The covert narcissist, now the child who's getting raised by a covert narcissist, who's getting programmed by a covert narcissist, who can lie just for little gains, who can lie just to have their kids on their side. Like, uh, I know mothers and fathers, of course, who know how to groom their kids and make them hate the other parent and then take revenge from the other parent. There are genuine cases too. I'm not saying there are not any genuine cases. I, as I always say, 50% are genuine cases. 50% are not genuine cases. 50% are really like the parent is bad, addicted, uh, maybe alcoholic, got some drug issue, got some, some criminal record going on, doing some kind of illegal business, bringing in a lot of partners at home, uh, some kind of really toxic environment they're creating. Uh, that's understandable, that's okay. Then whosoever is, is raising the child is amazing, I must say. A big round of applause for that single parent who's managing everything uh, despite having all of these issues. But then there are also those who manipulate the kids, who manipulate everyone around them. They are the hardcore covert narcissist. Now, you may not be a covert narcissist, but maybe you've been raised by covert narcissist. So everybody's sympathy goes to those covert narcissists because they're so good in real life in acting. But, 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 what is this channeling all about? The channeling is about, the collective reading is about that you can decode that you have gifts or you have discernment. You have the right amount of empathy or you're working towards getting there to the right amount of empathy, mix of, healthy mix of emotions and logic. You can read, you can read them. You can read who's fake and who's genuine. See, people are always sugar-coated and always very sweet. They're also not real because they are also trying to please a certain aspect of other people like they think that just by being always sweet always loving always this talking in a certain voice and tone it pulls people towards them they are always acting they're going to change their tone any minute any moment they feel that you're not useful for them they're going to change you know so all these sweet sweet words sweetness is like uh, a trap basically one love Peace out and victory to Ram.